Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is a preview of the DJI Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Pro Plus, which we'll talk about in just a second. Now, this comes only eight months after DJI announced the Phantom 4. Eight months is not a long time, but that seems to be how they are replacing their older drones. Now, let's go through the major specs and what is new. We have a new camera with a one-inch 20-megapixel sensor. Now, that is a big deal. Having a larger sensor means you can have a more expanded ISO, and you're going to get better quality because you have a larger image sensor that you're working with. It has 12 stops of dynamic range, which is another nice thing to have. Your ISO range for video is 100 to 6400 and for stills, it's 100 to 12,800. Now, they added a mechanical shutter. Now, this is a big deal so that you do not get that rolling shutter effect. So basically, every time the shutter moves, you get an exact pixel readout of the image that's hitting the sensor. That is a big deal to have a mechanical shutter. You also now have manual aperture control. You have not had that on any other DJI Phantom product before. You now can go from f2.8 to f11. So that means that if you don't have the ND filters around or you don't really want to use them, you can control your aperture. You can also control everything else manually from your ISO to your shutter speed, which is a big deal to have full exposure control. You now have an 84 degree field of view, which is the equivalent to 24 millimeters on a 35 millimeter camera, opposed to 94 degrees. Now, maybe that gives you more of a linear look, which would be a more cleaner, uh, straighter horizon lines. That could be interesting, so we'll have to see it when it comes out. You have touch autofocus, just like you had on the DJI Mavic. Uh, I'm still on the fence whether that's good versus having the infinite focus. Um, I'm still waiting for my Mavic to come in and we'll see when we get this one in the mail how it works. So let's talk about the image quality for video. You have 4K at 60 frames a second at H.264, but now this is one of the first cameras to offer this. 4K at 30 frames a second with H.265. That is a better Kodak, better compression that you're getting out of it. There aren't too many cameras out there in the world that are doing this just now. Now, this one is going to do that. We'll see if a lot of cameras follow in the future. Let's see. They both give you 100 megabits per second up from 60, so more data means a better image. Uh, that's probably because of the larger image sensor. You're gaining more information. You have uh, a new optional remote with a built-in 5.5-inch touchscreen, which is super-duper bright at 1,000 nit display, which means it's really bright in sunlight. Now, for comparison, we looked up what the iPad Pro 9.7-inch does, and that does 511 nits. So if you're on the fence with what you should do, should I have the one with the built-in screen on the remote or should I get the one without the built-in screen on the remote? That's one of the things you can take into consideration. Moving on, flipping the paper over. 360 degrees obstacle avoidance. Now that's better than before because before you had front and rear and bottom, now you add left and right. You don't have top still, which would be cool for flying indoors, but you do have left and right. Uh, with the front and rear, you have 30 meters of front and rear obstacle avoidance, which is doubled from the prior one. And with the new ones on the side, which are done in infrared, you get seven meters on each side. Now, this is a big deal because they're saying it's a, a narrow sensing sensor, which means if you want to go through a doorway, you can do that where opposed to the old, the P4, you would fly up to a doorway and it would go beep, 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 and stop. So you have that. Uh, let's see. Battery. That is always a question with these Phantoms. Do you, they replace the battery and all these extra batteries you have are for nil? You can actually use the P4 battery in the P4 Pro and get 28 minutes of flight time, or they also came out with a new battery uh, which has higher milliamps, which means it can fly longer. You can get 30 minutes out of that, but it's nice that you can use your older ones still. You have active track and tap to fly, which you've had before, but with tap to fly, they added, sorry, with uh, active track, you can now, it will now go backwards. So that means if I'm probably running after it, it can go backwards. That's a cool thing to add. Now it added a new draw mode. So if you want to go ahead and make some kind of flight plan yourself and make a star or whatever you want to make, you can draw it and it will fly it. It. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's still, and now it has gesture mode. Gesture, take my picture. Look, gesture, 
take, I don't even know what the gestures are and I don't know if I would use them, but it has it just like the Mavic has. What is it priced at? It's priced at $1,500 for the regular remote and it's $1,799 if you want the new controller with the 5.5 inch touchscreen and it's available right now for pre-order and if our information is correct from the press release it says it should be available or shipping within a week if we're wrong about that we'll make a correction down in the description and then the last thing to talk about is do you get this or do you get the Mavic? Now they're two different things. The Mavic is meant to be smaller and more easy to transport, where this one is really meant for more professional video because it has a bigger sensor with better video capabilities versus the Mavic. The toss up here is deciding, do you want a super small thing that's easier to travel around with and you're okay with a little lesser quality, or do you want to carry around the more professional one that's larger, but will probably give you better results? That's the question I pose to you. Which one would you rather have? Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're on YouTube or thumbs up uh, and like my page on Facebook. That is where I'll leave it. I hope you enjoyed that preview. And that is it. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.